And we should be live. Nice. There we are. Getting all the windows set up. Hi, everyone. This is Shisho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is April 21st. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on addiction. This was sort of a request that came about um, from our Discord. And we've touched on addiction uh, before. And uh, the topic has come up on our Discord page or our Discord server. Um, so it was worth opening the floor um, to talk about this. I know just in general, my my take on addiction is that we human beings have addictive tendencies. Uh, and that's mainly because we're passionate creatures, right? Because passion, if not managed properly, and if you let your passion take control of your life, it turns into an addiction. That's my definition of addiction. Addiction there's, there's a fine line between passion and addiction, right? You could be passionate about something and incorporate that passion into your life and not sacrifice other aspects of your life, right? When that passion starts sacrificing some of the more or important things that you have to do in your life, right? When that passion takes over your life and it becomes your sole focus of life where you're sacrificing family finances your health mental and physical and everything else that comes with addiction then that passion has turned into an addiction and it needs to be addressed that's my definition of addiction and for anyone that wants to really explore the topic of, the, of addiction i highly recommend following gabor mate's work uh, books articles interviews lectures consume it all and it's through him really that i had started getting a grasp of what addiction was because if you've lived any amount of time in your life you have had family and friends and even yourself possibly that has been addicted to something it is everywhere in our societies because it's passion is a human nature right so for me i never really understood addiction because for me any time where a certain passion starts sacrificing you know takes over my life it starts hindering my experiences my other experiences and i basically go cold turkey on whatever <laughs> whatever that has taken over my life so and that's something that i sort of i guess have come to do in my life because i realized that I personally have addictive tendencies, right? So I never really understood why people could not do that. And Gabor Mate really opened up the door, uh, sort of sh shone a shine a light on the topic, and it gave me an insight that I didn't have before, because my experience, my insight into addiction was very personal. It wasn't as observing uh, other addictions and trying to see, come to terms with why these addictions or addiction exists okay aside from that gang welcome to our live stream apologies if i didn't pay attention to the chat <laughs> uh, slick mick auto mod zapped huge and porn didn't allow it so i'm just allowing that okay felix how are you doing how's it going chicho doing well doing well thank you huckleberry welcome welcome hi chicho hi chat good to see everyone again indeed we had a good time yesterday it was 4 20 right the real mc mike morning chicho missed your live stream yesterday while i was out driving in the mountains whoa sounds like a fantastic time looked like a fantastic stream it was a good stream man it was a sub celebratory day for us and we're going to celebrate that every year april 20th every year 4 20 we celebrate it that is the holiday we are officially declaring and have been doing Right, Huckleberry. Unfortunately, been hitting the weed too hard while we're on this topic. Now that 420 is over, I'm going to be stepping back for the next two to four weeks. That's a great idea, and I've done that multiple times. Sometimes I've stepped away uh, from cannabis for months, and there's been times where I've stepped away from it for a few years. Okay, 
it's always good to do a recheck right slick mcchicho i can't stay for long but i just wanted to caution others in my adolescence i had a huge addiction to pornography let me uh let me led me to sacrificing relationships subconsciously and unfortunately viewing women in the wrong way then uh one day i met a friend who had who has helped me to recover and i am now clean from porn i guess for two-thirds of a year awesome uh, cold turkey isn't easy but i needed to save myself as it seriously damaged relationship relationships uh, friends relationships etc uh, thanks for that slick mick and good on you right and again addiction doesn't have to be pharmaceuticals chemicals or anything like this there's food addiction porn addiction gaming addiction addiction to comic books addiction to hoarding addiction to exercise addiction to anything right crack good afternoon how are you doing <laughs> code uh, 1717 hey chicho uh and all what was the name of that gabor mate book? Okay. i don't know the name of the book i've read gabor mate's articles i've listened to a lot of his interviews and i've listened to a ton of his lectures right he's i know i've known of gabor mate because we were from the same city he he was based in vancouver right and I was in Vancouver and Victoria sort of sister cities right so he's from my part of the world and I knew and I knew about Gabor Mate and I've known about Gabor Mate for a number of decades now or a long time now right because of prohibition because he was very active on the east side of Vancouver which is it's it's a crazy place east side of Vancouver I had friends that had visited me from Toronto right and Toronto is Canada's biggest city it's got serious problems it's, it's amazing I've lived there but it's got serious problem homelessness problem drug problems stuff like this right and this friend of mine this was back in the either early 2000s or late 90s right and she visited me in Vancouver and she was a social worker in Toronto and we hopped in the car and I drove around Vancouver showing her the sights and I took her to the east end of Vancouver it's impoverished area right east end of Vancouver she was awestruck her mouth was open going oh my god Chicho her experience in Toronto dealing with the homelessness the drug addicts the addiction the clinics and all that jazz she goes I've this is my work this is what I do for a living in Toronto and I've never ever seen anything like this there's people walking around with dead eyes right so Gabor Mate came out of that scene dealing uh, with the issues there helping people fight addiction and I he really hit my radar when he started introducing ayahuasca and theogens in treating okay people who are addiction addicted specifically to pharmaceuticals but he also dealt with other addiction Gabor Mate was addicted to collecting music right like he would buy tons of CDs of class he was he was he was a consumer of music he needed to have every version of every every symphony ever done and stuff like this and he got into dealing with addiction because she, he had to deal with his own addictions and he introduced entheogens i think he was one of the first people in the western world uh, in canada for sure the only one that actually opened up the clinic to treat people with ayahuasca and entheogens uh, regarding their addiction until the federal government shut him down right and his results were phenomenal 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 okay that's a quick intro to gabor mate okay uh now before we go any further i dive right into it gang i'm going to give you guys my quick little intro because i do need to do this right i am on patreon if you want to follow this work patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about patreon is a great way to do so everything's layered on mathematics 
I don't put anything beyond paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share, like, gang. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this without a doubt, without a doubt. So thank you for that. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat that pops up here, Twitch is where you want to be at. And, gang, thank you for the support on Twitch. That's a huge part of what we are doing. And, what is really fueling my passion to do this so thank you very much for the supports and mod thank you for being here we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gab and and uh vk mines at parlor parlor has been up and down lately so <laughs> skip my mind on parlor okay you can follow the work there and you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type an exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up and including a Discord page, Discord server that we have that you can join and participate in the conversation. We will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And that podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will upload this to sensor tube as well and it will most definitely as long as those platforms none of these platforms go down it will always be on bitchu rumble and odyssey we upload everything to bitchu rumble and odyssey selective stuff to sensor tube but i think this is important to load on sensor tube hopefully this discussion is allowed <laughs> aside from that thank you for being here gang and those of you who are supporting this work through those platforms thank you for supporting this work gang let me take these guys down and i'm just gonna get caught up with the chat uh uh slick make absolutely brother too much porn can easily mess up real life sex and romance for you in a lot of ways and just relationships in general crack winnipeg is rough but when i first visited vancouver i was shocked at parts of the city yeah indeed crack it's crazy it's actually safe but it's trippy right girl forest chicho i have an odd insight on this topic when i was nine years old i was prescribed ambien which i quickly uh, abused abused left out nine years old for its hypnotic effects i believe this early abuse changed how i choose experiment with other entheogens and pharmaceuticals in my teenage years and early adulthood even purposefully becoming addicted to certain pharmaceuticals to gain insight into my um, friend friends group addictions wow 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 that's serious that's a there's a word for people who explore entheogens we call them psychonauts gore forest there 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 would have to be a word for this uh addictonaut where you explore addictions just to get a better insight into them dangerous field to be in Felix I would consider myself addicted to caffeine it got to a point where I would be lethargic and sleepy all day unless I'd had a cup of coffee in the last last hour or two I gave it up about two weeks ago around the same time I gave up meat and I feel so much more energetic now awesome Felix that's very good and coffee is something I manage I love like I love the taste of coffee like really if it was available to me all the time I would drink it all the time and it is available to me all the time to a certain degree right but I if I'm drinking coffee I drink coffee for a few days and then I stop for a month to two months so it's something that I really try to manage myself coffee is extremely addictive so is sugar tobacco alcohol gambling these are five things that are some of the coffee is not as horrendous as the other four but sugar tobacco gambling and well you could add food on there as well some of the most horrendous most dangerous activities and uh, and what do we call them chemicals foods uh, that get people addicted are legal in most Western countries however some of the other ones uh, herbs plants and stuff that actually can help you to eliminate those addictions are illegal as Gabor Mate's work has shown right so incredible society we live in right 
MC Mike H. Cho, what's your take on East Hastings Street in Van downtown Vancouver with the drug addiction there? Um, MC, um, MC Mike, I don't know how to uh, give you my take on it. I could tell you that a lot of the early math videos that I shot that we did graffiti on the wall teaching mathematics, a lot of that was I filmed it in East End okay a lot of it i filmed in the east end one of the ones that we did with a friend of mine we were talking about um uh the the factor theorem and the remainder theorem where you're trying to find the x-intercepts uh, well, it gives you the x-intercepts of a quadratic function and it also gives you the point and stuff like this and he did the editing it's the only one that i've done with collaboration with someone else where he did the shooting and he did the editing right when we're shooting that video we we're behind number five orange was a strip joint and i was as i was shooting the video this will give you an insight into what i think of the east end as i was shooting the video my friend was shooting me there was a couple of crackheads looking for crack on the ground and one of their friends came along happy as as what and he had a shirt off he ran over and he had already scored so he went around the corner not even around the corner like 50 meters away you could see him and he was using his pipe and his friend was trying and then afterwards they were tripping balls and we were still shooting my math video okay so what's my take on the east side it's a uh, it's basically the symptom of the problems we have in our society but as far as i'm concerned i i've spent some time there i don't i don't fear it uh the people living there are human beings um, there's crime there like you you're foolish if you park your car overnight there and you have anything that anyone can look inside the car the odds are the glass will be broken and the items stolen right um, but I've spent a lot of time there I don't feel in danger there I, I've uh, I haven't encountered any problems there but, but I've known people that I have uh, and you just have to be aware of where you are and behave accordingly but it's basically a product of our society right of brutal crony capitalism corporate capitalism how, whatever you want to call this thing right um, that's my take uh, so Huckleberry, the opiate ep uh, epidemic is at its zenith where I'm from in Ohio in the States. I've watched people, good people, get hooked and even die from the garbage. It's horrible. It's horrible, Huckleberry. Agreed. Vancouver too. Canada as well. Serious problem. And it was pushed 100% by the pharmaceutical industry, right? They, they, were, they, were, they were taking, they were selling tens of millions of pills in the States anyway, to a little town of a population of like 10,000 and it was acting as a distribution hub to the rest of the country or in that region to get the uh, oxycon and all the other stuff out right some of those pharma some pharmaceutical companies were sued right but this is the pharmaceutical addiction is insane and that is very much pushed through wall street okay that's getting into politics and stuff but it is Right. we have to face that reality and why are people consuming this stuff because our society has in all all essence as a community has completely collapsed right grow forest opioid addiction moves differently through the community many decade old uh, abusers treat their doctors like a demigods with the power of life and death judgment being authorized refill or not yeah it's crazy and Gabor Mate talks a lot about the stuff, right? Uh, Joe Buckeye, there's a weird shoe collection addiction that I never understood. People collect shoes like comic books, yeah. And it, it, collecting things is legit, right? It's a form of investment. It's not uh, Joe Bucky. I agree with you. It's not something I would collect. However, when you know there's a market for it, right? And everything is a market, right? NTFs, we got non fungible tokens, right? That are collectibles now, right? When our society and humanity really, the first type of commerce that was done was really through collectibles, right? Um, as currency. 
so it is a collectible it is a legitimate place to flip money trade park your money however you want to look at it right uh, just like comic books but it is interesting uh, scarcity and in, induced scarcity and Bitcoin is one of them as well right the shoe collection is like oh we're only gonna print print what was the guy the rapper a thousand pairs of this shoe that has blood in it or something like this right well okay they put a limit of a thousand so if there's thousand and one person that wants to collect that then the price of their initial thousand will go up because there's one person more that wants it right bitcoin is the same there's 26 million limits on it right if there's more than 26 it comes out right and it's gonna you know the supply is coming out slowly right envious hey everyone for me it's a typical addiction cigarettes i'm trying to stop it for a while now but it's hard to do especially when i have stressful times yeah i've known uh, i've seen people kick heroin addiction opiate addiction gambling addiction al alcoholism i've seen people stop every other addiction more easily except for alcohol alcohol is hard but it, it can be done right and it, it doesn't mean you're not addicted to those things it's just not part of your life anymore right kick it right that means stop using them and cigarettes has been the hardest for most people that i know okay literally cigarettes is the hardest thing i've seen people trying to quit go for us huckleberry i've heard a lot about this in many areas mm -hmm. Uh, Kentucky India Florida as well it creates a mental emotional rift in those uh, denied equilibrium doesn't come easy for those who don't recognize an alternative to the chemicals as an option yeah and gang don't forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on censor two Huckleberry uh, to grow for us absolutely it's a massive problem here and it's only growing now yeah. Felix Chicho I have a friend who up until a few months ago was horribly addicted to a host of different drugs and it started with weed uh, I've been friends with him for over a decade and seeing him spiral out was tough that's one of the reasons marijuana should be uh, legalized if you can acquire it through legitimate uh, stores there's no illegitimate dealer to buy from who's um, who, who will convince you to take harder drugs 100 percent felix right like as a kid growing up it was easier in high school and i live in i grew up in vancouver right and right now like it has been always easier for kids in high school to get their hands on weed than it has been to be able to buy alcohol right alcohol legal weed illegal right so something illegal was easier to get their hands on than something that was legal okay if that doesn't register properly into people then people need to look into this okay and what happens when you're acquiring something illegal now there are dealers out there that have a conscience cannabis dealers that will never deal with anything else that is destructive to humanity right but there's a lot of people that will right if there's money to be made you will get people in of all types trying to make money in whatever it is okay so we really have to reevaluate the the hand that centralized power has to play in our lives and the decisions that they're making huckleberry chicho i applaud your empathy lots of people call the police when they see drug addicts and don't understand that they're the symptom not the disease indeed good people having their humanity taken from them don't need more dehumanizing yeah yeah for me uh it's just i grew up with it in vancouver right so it, it wasn't too shocking to me uh, when it's normalized on that level 
and you end up knowing people meeting people uh, i've had people who have multiple addictions and multiple things man it is what it is right and as gabor mate states uh, one of the people uh, one of the reasons people succumb uh, to these things is because of trauma and a lot of it associated with childhood trauma but it doesn't necessarily have to be childhood trauma trauma in general uh, triggers right uh, King Canada live I remember Hastings Street from when I would, went to Van City to watch the 98 Grey Cup 99 Grey Cup never seen that type of drug usage before as I was only 14 crazy stuff crazy stuff right index hello hello how are you doing hello friends long time no see long time index nice to have you here king canada live i'll be two months cigarettes free not even a puff this saturday af afternoon 20 uh 20 ish years of smoking you can you can do it too indeed and gang if you're smoking cigarettes put it down i don't give a rat's ass what you need to do to put it down put it down put it down i i know it's easy to be said coming from someone that really detests cigarettes and i i really detest them not just because of the product but the people that sell the product and also the corporations that sell the product the way they've been promoting the product and what they did to an entheogen really because tobacco was meant to be used as a healing plant and just imagine the absurdity of this thing tobacco was meant to be used as a healing plant by the indigenous population of Canada United States North America right corporations took it took this thing herb plant that was that was traditionally used as a healing plant they added a ton of chemicals to it made it addictive beyond belief and started selling it it turned it into one of the biggest killers in the world right that that politics to me makes me just makes my blood boil and i refuse to uh be lenient on the subject of cigarettes my friends that smoke know me i stopped hanging around some friends uh because they smoke too much right uh i have friends that we used to go on fungi walks right and we went a lot and I remember when they started smoking i was like dude stop don't do it oh chicho i'm only doing it this 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 years later bam bam chain smoking right we needed to stop and i told them this straight up i go listen man if we're going on a fungi walk right um um if you want to call it tripping whatever it is i'm in nature i'm in appreciating this when i get a swift of the cigarette smell coming my way it kills my experience right and we had to stop okay sick i detest cigarettes gang just for the record if, if that wasn't clear <laughs> hell of god blast from the past index to, to index uh grow for us felix similar to the ayahuasca movement heavy overpowered edibles or capsule filled uh rosin uh the carved ash in my experience uh in my experience can induce temporary aversion to other ingestible drugs with a with a routine overwhelming inward meditate meditation forced self-awareness as as a coupled effect to the strong long lasting effect of the cannabis Whew, that's a lot of info in their growth force awesome index LA indeed it's been a crazier pandemic move to a new state got engaged wow index finished up my phd finished up you finished off your phd nice i think we knew about your engagement busy busy indeed felix i've noticed myself becoming a little uh too fond of alcohol when i go out with my friends i'm always the one that drinks the most last time i had two-thirds of a rum bottle four ciders and three gin and tonics in about four hours i am pretty big guy so it takes a lot for it to get uh, get to me but i'm definitely going to slow down don't want to fall into that habit hole yeah felix look alcohol for me i've gone off on alcohol as i mentioned before right i got into it early and i've gone off on it a lot 
I don't anymore that's one of the reasons I started making liqueurs as well right something that was hand handed down from my grandfather right I thought oh this was cool because liqueurs you're sipping the alcohol right but I've I'm not a very as maybe as not a big guy as most right but I could pound it back right for me uh, the thing that would make me stop is when I would drink about a 26 or and a half uh, where I because your tolerance goes up with alcohol the more you drink the more tolerant you are to it right after a ball and a half I would go okay I need to stop and I would go cold turkey I don't think I need to that would go through that uh, cycle anymore because I would go through that cycle multiple times in my life um, alcohol is hard to manage one of the reasons alcohol is hard to manage is because you're of your people that you're with because if you're going out and drinking then you're going to a social setting where everybody's drinking and once you need to eliminate the alcohol from your life that means you also have to cut your most of your social activities if you're a daily drinker so the the hardest part comes where you don't have people you're socializing with and then when you hook up with them they're drinking and you're not so it becomes very difficult and that is one of the reasons people have mentioned this you know I have a lot of passions I have a lot of things that I love one of the re reasons I have this is because I needed to find different social activities for me to engage in if I was cutting a major one out of my life and going through cycles like this you pick up multiple different social activities right so the social aspect of addiction is also huge things that people have to consider all right john zook yes i made it awesome <laughs> oh you did an uptime 23 minutes you got in sorry if i'm way behind chat wow, wow i'm way behind chat gang i'm sorry uh, this is an important topic so i'm trying to go through um as much of the the chat as possible I don't buy cannabis from people who sell any other substance awesome uncle Barry that is a fantastic thing to do right Yoshi how are you doing good day to you as well welcome welcome gang I'm gonna scroll through the chat speedy Gonzalez style okay uh, I'll go in a few days it will be six months since my last pint of cider the only thing I really needed but now I'm free awesome elder God congrats congrats good on you brother really I'm scrolling down to see if there's anything directed towards me gang uh, Cheryl how are you doing welcome welcome Cheryl quitting cigarettes was the most difficult thing I ever done but totally worth it awesome Cheryl yeah I had a friend that was trying to quit smoking that we went on a mushroom walk fungi walk I've done this with multiple people sunset you know I'll share that experience through anthrogen stuff but we we're on a fungi walk and she she turned to me and said she showed listen I've tried quitting smoking cigarettes she goes the last time I tried I was vomiting for a week cr crawled up in bed in a fetal position and it just wouldn't go away so I had to start it up again right so cigarettes I've seen people have an extremely hard time extremely hard time John Zook, I used so much nicotine one night driving. I had like 20 milligrams of gum in two hours or less. I thought I was gonna die. Still haven't quit enough. Or quit, uh, quit though. Wow, wow, wow. So that was because you're trying to quit smoking cigarettes, you were chewing the nicotine gum. And nicotine doesn't that get your heart pounding like mad? Do it sober, <laughs> Yoshi. Do it uh, so, so sober, sober, right? Grow forest, all got uh, to grow forest. It was very hard, but the lockdown actually helped me in this endeavor. Awesome, and Elder God, I'm guessing one of the reasons it helped you because of the social setting. Yeah, grow forest. And by the way, gang, once this lockdowns are removed or removed, uh when these bars open up if you've been able to quit a certain addiction eliminate a certain addiction in your life because you haven't had that you haven't had the opportunity to do that get into that social setting don't fall into the trap again dangerous 
grow forest considering uh considering tobacco i enjoy seeing uh, aphids from vegetables hop on the uh, lower leaves of my virginia and ceremonial tobacco they quickly colonize and start eating but a few weeks later they are dead from the heavy al alkaloid poisoning are you serious grow forest because one thing I, I've noticed growing, I've grown tobacco before, by the way, and I actually have tobacco that I harvested still a little bit in the jar. I'm planning on planting seeds. Uh, but one thing I've noticed from growing other power plants, right? Uh, pests love power plants. May they be cannabis, may it be salvia, may it be tobacco, may it be datura. Uh, they love it. They love entheogens right and i didn't know tobacco will kill the bugs will eat go to it first i know they go to it first but it'll kill them i gotta look into this grow forest and by the way if you're gonna go grow tobacco from what i understand tobacco and tomato don't like to be near each other we're gonna grow tomato for sure this year in our patio i'm gonna plant some tobacco seeds i need to i'm just gonna spray in a in a pot right um I'm gonna see what happens. I'll definitely share when, if they do grow. John Zook, my parents have always smoked cigarettes. So when I was younger, I said, screw it, and just started using a cigarette, e-cigarette, okay? As far as I know, e-cigarette better than cigarette. Huckleberry Chicho socializing has been a tough part of taking a break from weed. I learn a lean towards no smoking some days, and then a friend will text me and ask me if I'm uh, going to. And it's hard to say no, it's hard to say no. And it, uh, agreed with cannabis, pretty important to take a break, step away every now and then, right? representation and resistance and they say such for chats at all. so people are talking to each other uh, Felix Chicho have you ever done a, a Chicho wardrobe stream <laughs> you have some of the coolest shirts I've ever seen and I think we need to see the collection you've seen some of it I have a lot that I haven't even worn on 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 camera right um, I have some crazy ass shirts I got some crazy ass shirts <laughs> sometimes you just gotta go loud man sometimes you just gotta go right some people i've worn shirts places people are like what the hell is that and i'm like big smile on my face bobbing my head that's right baby <laughs> cool cool I'm scrolling down guys grow for chicho i've witnessed green aphids turning black from over consuming tobacco are you serious grow for and then they drop dead and then they die oh my god the pubs are open here for outside drinking but i haven't even been tempted to visit okay one of the hardest thing elder god one of the hardest things for me to do to stop and man it took effort was patio hopping in the summertime one of the things we used to do is uh in vancouver because we don't have very much sun so that when we get sun everyone's outside and we just go from patio to patio just drinking and stuff like this and the socializing is amazing people are in the sun it's a great atmosphere great mood and at the time when i was doing this you could smoke a cigar in the patio so i would smoke cubans and drink in a patio just talking about it makes me want to do it but i'm glad i'm not right it's hard on the body uh, the socializing is amazing but it can get a little dark after a few hours of this right yeah i'm glad i'm not really john zook my heart was pounding for like an hour or two after i had to drink like three bottles of water yeah that's the chewing tobacco right chewing the nicotine uh, gums but i have quit before for two months along with cannabis maybe shouldn't have been uh so stingy on quitting cannabis i started back up because i was with old friends and said oh i can take one yeah, famous last words right famous last words 
hey there's something what did yoshi say the other guy i think he's uh, he's on a break warning the loss of his mother i hope he's doing it well oh someone i hope they're okay i missed the conversation so i don't know what the conversation is about zabrowski hey good morning chicho good morning to you as well zabrowski hope you're doing well index i moved to new mexico and haven't figured out how to grow crops here the desert environment is just so different than anywhere else i've lived yeah lots of sun you must need so much water so much water king canada all night shade plants including tobacco are extremely high in various types of alkaloids which have adverse effects on all living things even at low doses okay so nightshade yeah nightshade i've grown before um i had we had one i need to get another one uh the bugs hit it i just had to let it go i couldn't manage the bugs on it right uh so they take out the high alkaloids they but they the bugs love it the bugs like humans i guess just love what toxic to them <laughs> grow for a chicho i'm not sure if they die but it seems the generational cycle ends and they die where they stand really lay it speeds up the speeds up the rotting and that part of the plant turns to mush mostly on the ceremonial tobacco okay okay i don't want the i don't want to attract too much bugs so i'm gonna to try to manage this thing intrepid how are you doing hope you're doing well what are your thoughts on porn addiction that seems to affect a lot of folks uh, it's serious someone mentioned earlier on at the beginning of the stream slick make i believe uh poor addiction is a serious issue right one of the one of the reasons porn addiction is 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 so problematic comes down to the economics and uh, the politics of it like most of the porn people consume online is controlled by one organization right so it's it's a monopoly it's completely centralized right it's like the diamond industry right so porn is extremely uh, in terms of business it's a monopoly and what do monopolies tend to do any business that has no conscience right and no business on wall street really has a conscience right uh the way our current economic system is set up the only thing they care about is profits so when there's a business set up and they have let's assume five products right let's assume they have five products four of those products may be beneficial for humanity one of them may not be beneficial for humanity but the one that is not beneficial for humanity is is consumed 10 times more than the other four combined now if you're a business that you don't have a conscious your first responsibility is share return shareholder value that is what your business model is to make as much money as possible you're going to drop these four and you're going to push this guy because this guy gets 10 times more revenue than all the other four combined right and guess what this one probably costs less for you to make right so what happens is with the porn industry there are certain types of porn right that they're pushing that are extremely addictive and extremely destructive to society right they're not pushing exotica they're not pushing educational uh sexual videos right educational sexuality right they're not pushing beneficial aspects of human sexuality really our desire for it they're pushing the addiction addictive aspects of it right so if you're addicted to porn online know this you're being manipulated like a little bitch by a corporation that is making money off your addiction right they're making money for the rich fat cats that have invested in that corporation that are basically taking every other aspect of your life away from you that's the way i would look at it if i had a porn addiction 
and I'd be pissed because those corporations are fucking up my life right I'm just saying it that way because hopefully that'll zap some people out of their addiction by being manipulated you are a you're a living human being that has multiple multiple passions in your life and a lot of those passions you don't even you haven't even you haven't even explored yet why because this corporation has digged into your soul and found something there and is filling it full of poison and has made you addictive to this toxin right and it's destroying your life and by the time you blink it's going to be 10 15 years later and you're going to look at yourself and you're going to go what a piece of crap i am right anyway <laughs> what are your thoughts on for yeah that's my thoughts intrepid one aspect of it right water is ramadan water in what water in ramadan felix chicho i'm 18 in a few months and i've recently started patio hopping with my friends a few times a week we're, we'll go to someone's house and have some drinks play some music and have a good time looking forward to lockdown restrictions fully going down and being able to host house parties yeah and barbecues dude barbecue barbecue and patio hopping at homes better than patio hopping in bars right and restaurants because they that can be extremely expensive right extremely expensive and you have a lot of choices right when you're doing it with friends the frequency is much less so it's more manageable and you can do barbecues barbecues right Alaga chicho i have just been informed that wake the beast is taking a break after family loss oh that's what it was uh, yoshi send them my condolences man i hope everything goes okay and i think it, uh, i read a comment above was that was wake the beast yeah was that his uh mother or grandmother or something oh man i missed it send them my best uh gang okay yeah loss is hard man i put out a video on that right so it's uh it's serious ronnie 90 hi man how are you doing welcome welcome we for preach <laughs> how about we preach brother <laughs> gardner says ronnie we yeah people can be addicted to cannabis indeed yeah 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 i've known people who are addicted to cannabis uh, we we human beings can be addicted to anything right gabo mate proved that the guy was addicted to collecting classical music like classical music addiction where you're spending thousands of dollars a month buying classical music cds because you want to have every type of very vari variant of a certain symphony that everyone has ever put out right that's an addiction right are you flipping that as a business then you've taken your addiction and turned into a business and hopefully that'll kick you out of your addiction right and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information please see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube gardner our natural impulses are capitalized on and cannibalized for the sake of profit not everyone corporate corporate impulses I, to a certain degree yes i think human impulses not necessarily uh ronnie yes i can confirm yeah uh, gang if you find that something in your life a passion in your life has turned into an addiction an addiction meaning that for your passion consuming doing whatever it is that you're doing it could even be exercise right you're sacrificing family friends finances your physical health your mental health you're sacrificing other experiences that passion has turned into an addiction 
deal with it if you're if you deal for me i'm harsh on this deal with it does that mean going cold turkey if you have the ability to do it go cold turkey does that mean recognizing that you have a problem that's step number one step number two talk to someone about it okay seriously talk to someone about it read about it seek information i know it's easier said than done F try to dig down and find out what the trauma was that acted as a catalyst for you to become addicted to something for you to take something that might have been beneficial in your life to turn it into something completely destructive in your life right felix my parents met through patio hopping and house parties hearing them talk about their experiences makes me look forward to it even more no it's fun man yoshi uh sure will do show awesome thank you very much yoshi indeed his mother passed away hard he said he's uh, going to be off for two weeks to go see his mother yeah and hopefully he takes as much time as he needs right and he, he's a powerful dude man you know we did a live stream he's a strong guy uh, he's a smart guy he's he was able to step away from something that he realized was not what it was meant to be right that means that puts you in the strong category in my book right and expect the conversations uh pretty sure to be heavier okay and uh pay attention to what he says huckleberry i've got a uh, class so i've got to go okay huckleberry enjoy your class final weeks is getting crazy good talk everyone be well you too you too Cheryl to Felix that's awesome I wish my community was a bit more front door friendly uh -huh. liquid swords and one addiction is very ambiguous subject it seems I have asked myself if addiction even exists some people seem to get physically addicted to certain uh, certain substances meanwhile others can do that very same substance how much they want without ever getting addicted to it I've noticed that with nicotine I just couldn't get addicted to it no matter how much I did it yeah our biology is different everybody's different just think of it as allergies some people are allergic to strawberries some people are not I'm not thank God oh my god I would really suck to be allergic to strawberries right maybe I'll someday I'll grow an allergy to strawberries I've consumed foods that I didn't wasn't allergic to and then later on I grow an allergy to them right so there is our, our bodies our chemistries are so different that's why I 100% uh, think we should take uh, modern medicine with a huge grain of salt because modern medicine functions on statistics they say okay 70% of people that consume this thing see a benefit from it so if someone comes into a doctor's office with this certain symptoms or they think this this illness they'll play the stats game they'll go oh yeah 70% saw a benefit for this 30% didn't or maybe 20% didn't it was benign and 10% saw adverse reactions so because you're having a problem with this we'll recommend that you take this pharmaceutical because 70% maybe you're the 70 percent 70 percent will see a benefit to this well crap maybe you're not right here's here's the thing when it comes to addiction drugs right this is a stats take with a grain of salt but there are certain drugs um, addictions out there where pharmaceutical companies have come up with something that alleviates can help some people kick this addiction right now the stats on those pharmaceutical solutions to help people with this addiction are like it's it doesn't even help 70 percent it helps one out of five we're talking 20 percent right there's a 20 percent success rate that if someone with an addiction to this chemical consumes this will no longer have an addiction to this well what are the side effects to the other four out of five 80 percent of the people some of those side effects are horrendous right and then some people actually get addicted to the thing that they're consuming to kick this addiction right 
meanwhile and i came across these stats through gabor mate's work right but i'm paraphrasing and i'm i did this a long time ago meanwhile gabor mate's experiments that he conducted with ayahuasca trying to help people kick all types of addictions but being in the east end of vancouver there was a lot of opiate addiction right but a lot of addictions gambling addiction alcoholism uh, drug addiction all kinds of addictions right his success rate was like 80 percent right meanwhile the entheogen that a trained doctor was using under clinical setting okay was shut down and the pharmaceutical companies are still allowed to sell their pills right us human beings vary right we are not the same physically biologically emotionally mentally right we need to explore all avenues uh, when it comes to our societies and the solutions that are offered to us right so take that however way you want i'm just it just needs to be said right ronnie 90 my biggest addiction is being productive i don't want to sound like i'm such a hard worker but my mind is restless i can go a day without trying to do i can't go a day without trying to do something to feel like i achieve something yeah ronnie there's there was a saying in corporations that i've worked on right and i've done work for corporations before right one of the things is if you want to get something done you give it to a busy person don't give it to the person who's not busy because that person who's not busy in general is not doing a lot the person who's busy is doing a lot so if you want something done you give it to the busiest person in the office to get it done because they get it done right good luck with the final Cheryl says to Huckleberry nice crack as part of my ongoing education here at the Union office I am currently taking mental health first aid and there are sections that talk a lot about recognition and how to take the next steps that's the most difficult part recognition and action yeah and that's the thing that I've seen with most people is recognizing that you have a problem people can yell at you freak out on you talk to you gently uh, show you what's going on uh, and if you as a human being are not willing to accept that you have an addiction a problem with a certain substance or a certain behavior you'll never the next step will never be taken right grow first right now i'm addicted to uh, acquiring plina california jupata kappa tree varieties i'm deep in <laughs> grow force what are those things <laughs> funny Cheryl 100 percent crack did they have any tips not that it can be boiled down that way yeah getting people to recognize right grow for us I 100 percent uh, traded holographic Pokemon cards for rare uh grafted or uh sessions <laughs> Ronnie I barely have social life and I haven't had any real long-term girlfriend in my entire life and I'm uh, 30 right now uh, Ronnie there, there's nothing wrong with that uh, uh, Ronnie continues I think my upbringing and my parents emphasis emph emphasis emph emphasis on life success has made me feel insecure and feel money and having a good career should be prioritized over everything else and of course I know that's not true and these things don't bring true happiness uh, agreed Ronnie um, and I just to just to relate right my longest experience uh, my longest relationship into my early 30s up to my early 30s was maybe a few months right and most of my life I had spent single because I couldn't be in a long-term relationship my longest relationship before this and I'm over half a century right my longest relationship before this relationship that I'm in right now that we've been in for 10 years right my longest relationship before this was a year and a half 
right? <laughs> so maybe it's also you realize uh, early on in the relationship that maybe this isn't going to go where you want it to go, right? Uh, and, and don't be, don't judge your partners too harshly, right, Ronnie? Uh, and uh, for sure, money does not supersede relationships, uh, not by a long shot, not even close, right? Uh, so uh, make sure you tip your toes into other, other places, other other communities maybe it's the community that you're in that is not giving you the the options of having a partner that will satisfy you so that means going out there and exploring communities that you might have not explored before to see what type of relationships trouble you can get into there right crack i've just started the training still have a few uh modules to go cheryl uh support systems play a huge part a little easier for us in our organization as we have a hefty employee assistance program that we can get people in touch with cool and by the way here's but i'll just throw this out there one of the positive aspects of the lockdowns and i'm not saying i agree with the lockdowns you guys know I disagree with them initially okay now no however there are positives to everything one of the positive sides of the lockdown in my area is the casinos are closed so there is a lot of gambleaholics that unfortunately the ones that are tech savvy they're online gambling online right but a lot of gambleaholics people that are throwing their lives away and their finances by going to the casino haven't been able to do that so it's forced uh, removal from addiction right max wild is definitely genetic as well my mother's side of the family has a long history of addiction to a variety of chemicals and actions yeah crack recognition by others is part as well she, uh, cheryl and knowing how to step in and what to do to help yeah but people who don't want to face their addictions they they could just not do it right Cheryl I totally understand Ronnie at least you are aware do you like any activities like biking kayaking etc this is about the relationships something physical and action oriented not suggesting you replace but something that can be a focus and also group activity Zabrowski oh where'd that go I lost it Zabrowski uh chicho my dad's way of informing us not to do drugs was a drive through east hastings at 4 a.m with a boat and trailer on the way to the boat launch <laughs> hilarious and for example like for me right one of the things i did with family members that were still teenagers and uh, they were into skateboarding right in the middle of the night i would take them to the east end and i would go with them and i would let them skateboard right one of the reasons i did that was because they lived in that city and i want them to be comfortable understand the different parts of the city right the other part was to expose them to this insanity right and also allow them to realize that there is also a nightlife in the city that they live in there's people that function on different cycles right so I sort of did that with my I don't know how many kids with family members right it was interesting watching their expressions teenagers go first from floppies in elementary school to uh, thumb drives 1,000 plus the size of, uh, size in high school whoa, whoa. Elga Chicho you patio parting stories sent me straight back to the 90s <laughs> yeah big time cold beer with the sun on my back watching the football where did those golden days go yeah i went 90s and the 2000s as well and then i needed to stop all right um him fiat 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 i was in the kitchen and listening halfways i have my own duality in things i look upon either way being acceptive accept acceptive or expected in some cases so in half minutes waiting of time i can say if you expect to 
too much from yourself or others it may be good or bad and acceptance of circumstances can be either good or bad too <coughs> zw money he cho been watching you on youtube a lot but haven't been able to catch a stream here now though hope all is well with everyone thank you very much for popping in here zw money welcome to our live stream i'm scrolling down gang Da, da, da. index corporations nonprofits manipulate us into believing we are workaholics in reality they use our passion for a subject against us to make us feel bad for setting boundaries nine to five work hours uh, weekdays etc is the most common way modern employers get around workers rights today indeed I agree with index right be careful with corporations right draw a line you're a human being make sure you have other passions in your life and other things you you want and need to do other than work uh, right and really if you love what it is that you do uh, it we have to come up with a word other than work right ronnie nice chicho i'm starting to lean towards not marrying initially when I was younger I used to say oh yeah I'm gonna get married I'm gonna have 11 kids I used to say people used to ask me how many kids do you want uh, Chicho I used to say 11 actually and then I would correct myself actually I need 15 because I want to I want to make a soccer team football for those of you in the UK and Europe and stuff so I want to I want to put together a football team right and I need at least four substitutes right and they all used to go crazy what what that's insane da, da, da. and I would defend it right Hello God Ronnie now you're talking lifting the iron can bring you closer to God than anything else <laughs> hilarious <laughs> I can burn out doing something they love yeah and Cheryl makes a point Cheryl gives a point regarding work right uh, index absolutely but people can burn out doing something they love indeed 100% right and gang don't forget Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor2. Gore for Chicho. I posted a Jobotakada tree in Discord general. Awesome, thank you. We do have a, a gardening folder as well. It's like a grapevine oak tree. Grapevine oak tree. Whoa, cool. Fiat, long time no see. Long time no see. I totally forgot how to pronounce your name. Omnifiat. Omnifiat. Cheryl, please don't think I'm saying that focus intense hard work is bad, Ronnie, but I wouldn't want you to miss out on other aspects of life in the churl and tons of social opportunities and lifting fitness yep yep it sounds like you have more balance than you realize cheryl says to ronnie ronnie i agree with that cheryl uh thanks and i knew what you were saying i'm trying to find out how to find other hobbies i want to get into motorcycle uh but fail the course okay be careful with motorcycle gang riding a bike is no joke okay if everybody only rode motorcycles then it's safer but they don't there's big cars being driven out there and small cars and you on a motorbike are a fly on the on the windshield if you're not careful that's 89 v2 chicho i just wanted to say thank you for your stream and i'm happy to see someone with some same thinking as mine about the pills doctor give us sorry for my bad english i'm french no worries and you said it well that's there's a lot of people who have our hands off pharmaceuticals right bojo master hello chicho my weed addiction just seemed to get tougher every time i made an effort to quit um must be done you already recognize it's an addiction uh, do it it's hard brother dude you're talking to someone that knows right so the first few days are the hardest for any addiction really the first few days are the hardest okay what you need to do is 
replace that and it is intense it could be intense right that sensation with something else go for a really long walk watch go off on an amazing anime series uh, get together with someone you really enjoy their company with and play chess right or play backgammon cook food make preserves occupy your idle hands okay read a book read a book right it's the first few days and then you notice something different explore your dreams because as soon as you stop consuming cannabis your dreams will amplify so start doing research into interpreting dreams if you want right and then that'll get you to not want to consume cannabis because you'll go oh i want to continue the dreams try to train yourself how to enter a dream state right it's cool index canada has implemented a mandatory three-day hotel stopover for citizens traveling from out of country yeah they are charging uh well above market rate roughly 700 dollars a night even vaccinated people like me are required to stay in these hotels it seems more about punishing people than protecting people i've i haven't seen my family in over a year and still can't because of these punitive measures yeah index look into it it's they can't legally hold you right there are people who are breaking that right they're arriving at the airport saying no i'm not going to get tested and i refuse to be put in a hotel and they go home right be careful this is not legal advice this is this isn't anything on that level do some research right and i think it's more than about punishing people it's about uh, creating a new normal in their sense which is a power grab by centralized government uh and whatnot but we can talk a lot more about this in uh, current event stream tomorrow uh, this already has put us on on the on the sensor to watch like this 30 second thing that i said if it wasn't a two hour video most likely it would not be allowed to be loaded onto sensor two right so but i think this live stream the addiction is important to load on there okay ronnie i should reach out after my big exam in a couple of weeks football team i will be the goalie haha <laughs> the misery since 3000 bc yeah making money off people's miseries at 3000 bc centralized power i agree the amount of biking uh ascend this ascendance ronnie yeah road shared with other big cars is scary indeed yoshi i shall see you later gents adios adios yoshi send our best to uh beast i'm scrolling down gang da -da -da -da. brando hits how are you doing bad habits are my addiction i am on a on a journey of weight loss and doing boxing cardio training i love boxing but i am not actually boxing like taking hits or blows to the head the training without getting hit is amazing indeed brando hits right uh, I have a family member that does boxing training. Uh, he trains people, uh, and he goes to the boxing gym as well. Boxing gyms are one of the best places you could go to to get motivated to do exercise, right? And yeah, I, I wouldn't be into getting hit as well. My only addiction is watching your streams, <laughs> Putin Roaster. <laughs> no, that's not an addiction. That's a passion. <laughs> I'll be like a corporation. Uh, scrub stinky scrub hello wise men everyone here and women of course right uh i'm the fight fate i am addicted to the strife of achieving or experiencing stuff i make up in video games too much ah video games brando hits hi chicho i meant to say laziness is my bad <laughs> laziness is your bad habit <laughs> I, I i that's something i i've i used to procrastinate in the past and there are certain things i still procrastinate on very little now but it, it's not laziness is not something i've had to deal with personally uh i've known people though that have that laziness 
boop, doo -doo. but they're not they, surprisingly there are things that some of the people that some people might consider lazy that they're very passionate about and they're hardcore about it they're not lazy at all right so maybe laziness towards what society offers john zook the dreams with quitting weed is insane insane sanity when i got jailed for two weeks for breaking stuff because i couldn't control myself without nicotine i was laying there and having dreams like were like real while conscious so everything going on around me is that normal to be able to experience kind of had me worried yeah yeah that's that's normal Dr uh, cannabis suppresses dreams big time once you stop smoking cannabis your dreams will go through the roof will go through the roof and they're amazing to experience right brando it's that's awesome bojo master i ride a sim wolf 125 riding is great but my advice is to anticipate everything on the road yeah you gotta watch if you're riding a bike on the road you better have eyes behind your head you gotta be aware of everything around you everything around you if you're zoning out while riding a motorbike riding a bike might as well consider yourself dead if not sooner uh, then at some point around those you show my boxing teacher is special education adaptive PE teacher but she used to box in the amateurs she's such a wonderful lady awesome she's so kind like teacher guy <laughs> so <laughs> she's probably kinder than me brother <laughs> probably kinder than me and that's one thing I found out people who box who are actually getting out that energy are tend to be very very gentle the fate I tried some she gone lately around uh, around once 50 minutes and 30 minutes uh, some weeks later heavy breathing practice that counts a lot into life quality everything is connected to breathing somehow and the entire organism what would you do without hot air huh? stinky scrub yeah I've had crazy dreams after quitting herb yeah I find that my motivation comes in spurts building the habit of routine is more uh, more what I need to do I don't know how many times I was motivated but didn't follow through yeah Brando has famous last words for many people right uh, look into how the, Jeff Lemire is a comic book writer I think it's Jeff Lemire that put this out Jeff Lemire is a comic book writer and he's prolific writer he's done multiple projects he's a Canadian comic book writer one of my favorite writers for the last few years he does amazing work right and he put out a couple of articles or at least one article where he talks about having a regiment of doing work where he has a routine where he goes in and closes a door and does the writing and world creating and I think uh, Bendis does the same thing uh, so for sure uh, you have to have some type of routine in your life if you want to be productive right like for me too i've had the motivation to do certain things and it comes in waves and i don't if i don't hop on it right away that goes away and i gotta wait until the next wave for me to hop on it to be able to generate whatever it is that i needed to generate the way i manage that or i take advantage of that behavior that i have i have multiple things going right so i have multiple things going and when one wave is down the other wave is up I can jump on this one until you know do create this wait until for this one to pop up and then jump on that and do it and have multiple ones of these sometimes you got no choice you got to jump on that wave and force it up right intrepid chicho don't want to answer the question I'm convinced which question intrepid intrepid where's it where's the question Where's the question? Where's the question? Intrepid. Where's Intrepid's question? Did you put Chicho in front of it, Intrepid? I didn't see it. Let me know what the question is. I'll try to answer it if I can. I don't know. Brando hits. My teacher has her edge. Haha. <laughs> Boxing training helps with my anger issues, indeed. Yeah. John Zook. One dream I had 
uh, one dream I had a dream I had a daughter and it made me want to cry waking up for the day and being in there uh, you keep thinking of it almost like it was actual or real not a dream but it made me realize how much my parents love me regardless of my crappy actions <laughs> so grateful they still put up with me after af after it all yeah John Zuck Brando is Jeff Lemire thank you Chicho my pleasure I'm pretty sure it's Jeff Lemire Brando it's okay I'm crappy with names so hopefully I'm not confusing it Elagon, my wooden dummy is a great help in my continuing battle with stress relief. I used to, by the way, gang, for me, I I have we had two big boxing bags. Uh, our family had, and for multiple years, I used to have a big the big boxing bag set up at my house, and I have the I still have the gloves. They're pretty beaten down, uh, you know the the tighter ones where the fingers sort of stick out i had two pairs of those and we used to you know try he hitting a heavy bag for three minutes dripping sweat right so the feeling is amazing and you feel energized right das 89 v2 chicho since you seem to have a lot of knowledge with natural product uh, do you know a website you could recommend that give accurate information about natural products and their benefits example eat this if you have abdominal acidity problems thanks for your help uh, my to go to site is earwid right but earwid is leans towards more of the entheogens but it has medicinal plants on there as well so um, earwid is the place where i get my information and the site it's spelt like this row with okay aside from that um just sites that talk about herbs plants gardening right i'm pretty sure cheryl has some advice eat this if you have abdominal acidity problems like for me acidity if you want to deal with acidity i would say uh yogurt yogurt is good rice like for me if i have if i want to give my tummy a nice break like my tummy loves rice yogurt potatoes starchy foods right uh so and meats okay and everybody's different that's the thing thus right you have to sort of experiment but be be cautious with the experiments right brando it's taken from wikipedia jeff lemire um a canadian is a canadian uh, book comic book writer and artist he's the author of the title including the including uh sussex county trilogies uh sweet tooth and and the nobody his work in the 2010 includes all new hawkeye extra or uh, ordinary x-men moon knight and old man logan superboy animal man justice league and green arrow for dc black hammer for dark horse Bl the black hammer universe is amazing descenders and plutona for image and bloodshot reborn for valiant and bloodshot reborn uh, phenomenal phenomenal uh, ascenders is amazing descenders i've read one issue but ascenders amazing uh what else animal man amazing uh moon knight amazing amazing uh heavy bag will really work you compared to shadow boxing yeah heavy bag is amazing uh different heavy bag i like better than shadow boxing i didn't like shadow boxing too much bojo master i kind of feel like chicho is the wise old man that the protagonist climbs up the mountain to go see i'll come down but no i would say i would say i'm the guy in the middle that's uh in the middle of the mountain going la 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 feeling your fist connect to an unyielding force is completely humbling completely on up completely humbling right any plants that help with dry eyes dry eyes i don't know if cheryl's still here she might have some suggestions grec yogurt pump my acidity to the top really thanks for the website show my pleasure my pleasure um, the fiat i know one thing for real i will never use a machine for traveling except as a passenger it may be a limitation to me not being a driver cool 
Junsuk. I love the organic Greek yogurt uh, soothes, soothes the stomach the best for me with any meal. Yeah, it does for me as well. Elder God, I believe there are currents in the universe, eddies and tides that pull us one way or the other. Some we have to fight, some we have to embrace. Unfortunately, the currents that we have to fight look exactly like the currents we have to embrace. The currents that we think are the one that that's gonna make us stronger they are the ones that are going to destroy us and the ones that we think are going to destroy us they are the ones that are going to make us stronger albroski live hello from the netherlands hello netherlands how are you doing hope you're doing well I think honey is even good for the eyes really oh I have uh, heard that one thing we do for the eyes that we used to do if you get itchy eyes and stuff uh, I don't use tea bags but I have tea bags right and one thing you would do with and black tea like Earl Grey and stuff like this is make tea and then take the tea bags and then drop and nothing else just Earl Grey or orange pickle like green like even green tea tea drop some of the tea in your eyes and then put the tea bags in your eyes and lay back that that's something that our parents used to do when we were kids uh, i haven't had to do it for a long time i just haven't uh, but that soothes the eyes uh, look into it uh, grandma remedy elder re remedy we are all of the fate of our choices basically elder god says yeah Brando, Shisho, should we give you the blue flower? <laughs> begins. I'd be in the middle saying, "Would you like some? Would you like to vaporize the cannabis? To eat honey, eat honey." Abrowski, Chicho, if you had to pick one, what what do you prefer? Chicken nuggets or chicken tenders? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Are we talking fast food places, junk food places? I, I would I would do Chicho's chicken barbecue so delicious Bojo master I actually found your YouTube channel a while I remember you were making some herbal tea herbal tea is better herbal tea is good herbal tea delicious Cheryl I will post some resources later awesome Cheryl Das thank you very much for the twitch prime sub gang thank you for the uh, follows and thank you for the subs apologies if I'm missing them I just usually try to stay uh on the chat as much as i can uh john Chicho, have you ever discussed before organic versus non-organic foods uh do you think it's worth purchasing organic 100 percent uh excluding local or uh organic re regenerative farmers like food corps uh sorry i have the question makes sense yeah 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 for sure uh we buy local food local as much local as possible right we go for organic as much as possible the nutrient value of organic food in my opinion is a lot higher than the nutrient value and the nutrient nutrient value of non-organic food okay and the organic food doesn't have the pesticides the chemicals the hormones and all that jazz that core big corporations use to grow food right if you can grow your own food in your backyard fantastic we get our chickens from our friends that are raising chickens uh, right now and they're nice organic chickens and they're uh, or eggs and they're organic chickens i guess nice organic eggs and they taste phenomenal right and we barter for them so yeah csa local farms the best you can do for your body your body is a machine it needs fuel give it jet fuel right salute albrowski but if you had to pick one nugget or tender if you had to pick one if i had to pick one uh, what's the sauce <laughs> which sauce is coming with what <laughs> cheryl ginger licorice caraway and chamomile are all good for stomach acid issues uh, mint should be uh, good as well yeah Cheryl some people get relief from mint. oh some people get relief from mint but for others like me it makes it worse really mint tea is usually really good for me and ginger tea yeah ginger tea is amazing 
I just include a lot of that stuff in my diet anyway, so maybe that's why I don't get stomach acids and whatnot. Junzuk. Our instinct for food is taking over our addiction addiction conversation. <laughs> I love it. Nice. <laughs> so Bojo Master Bill Gates have uh, been buying all farmland and uh try not to uh, get everyone else to eat synthetic meat. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. I'm waiting for my pizzas. MC Mike totally agree on the local foods. Can't wait to go to the farmers market after this stream. So good, awesome. You got farmers farmers market on Wednesdays. That's good. Brando has Chicho. I am buying grass fed. Yeah, grass fed beef only, gang. Grass fed organic foods. Um, I have been buying chicken breast, wild cut salmon. I eat in moderation and spinach quinoa I have been uh, food prepping for snacks yogurt cucumbers heirloom tomatoes nice and hummus very nice extra virgin olive oil very nice very nice the only thing I used to eat a lot of salmon as well a lot of seafood as well unfortunately uh, I'm more hesitant on the seafood front uh, just because I know what we're doing to the oceans and it's reached a point where I'm like man I'm starting to get very hesitant on seafood. Share of foods, especially quality foods and herbs, can play a huge role in overcoming addiction uh, addictions as well. Yeah, indeed. John Zuck, I agree. Uh, swear I could feel the pesticides affecting me in some way when I had rice and beans of non-organic. I feel uh, living, uh, but dead. I don't know if that's uh, makes. Uh, that's me thinking it though uh and true uh grow for us yeah uh for me too like uh for me uh i can't yeah anyway you know how i feel about the organic stuff abrasky chicho whatever uh sauce you want sir i'm just curious if you had to pick overall which would it be nuggets or tenders I picked the ten. The tenders are the longer ones that are battered, the, like deep fried, and like this. Yeah, I'd pick the tender ones because nuggets are more processed. At least the tenders look like chicken. <laughs> and what kind of sauce? A uh, blue cheese is good. Uh, honey, honey, garlic, honey mustard, honey garlic would be good. Man, now I want to. Now I want deep fried chicken. God dang it. <laughs> Grow forest and pick a couple of mint leaves uh, leaves chew on one and shove another uh, one in my nose after doing pull-ups and dip up what the serious grow for forest rando hits I am trying to lose weight I decided not to take a, a medical weight loss one reason uh, the required shakes have sugar and uh, saccharin okay Brando hits. one thing Brando hits uh, like I've gone I went through a heavy phase one of the f two things I did to that made me drop weight, Speedy Gonzalez style. I stopped eating big meals at two o'clock in the morning because I was partying. We'd go out and after eating, right, and reduce my alcohol consumption up the yin yang, right? Like totally dropped it off. Stopped eating at two o'clock in the morning, like big meals, like Chinese, Sichuan, like like seriously, at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh and reduce alcohol right crafter how you doing i've been eating soft food for eight weeks it's how soft food uh oh cheryl in fact i chew licorice root pieces when i was quitting cigarettes help with the oral fixation cool and silly putty to keep my hands busy wow wow especially in heavy traffic really cheryl i've heard the keep the hands busy is really important for cigarettes elegant strangely i'm currently watching your video set on math in real life the the farming csa said very ah very cool i'm very proud of those videos we put out a mathematics of food and farming videos a few years ago i don't know when when we put them out i don't know now like 10 years ago and uh they're fantastic I, i'm very proud of those Ivan's why wow, yes Ivan's I like your shirt Chicho thank you 
it was a gift from a friend from like 20 years ago scrolling down to see if there's anything Randall has I decided to lose weight eating organic and clean a routine exercise instead of rapid weight loss that medically supervised diet will work for for some I am in a financial pinch so I am choosing not to pay it uh, and have a tight budget so I'm eating clean awesome brown heads and that is the best way to lose weight slowly so your system doesn't go into shock as well right be careful right Ronnie you guys talking about eating healthy while well, I'm here eating junk food <laughs> John Zuck I don't know how how anyone could quit nicotine with non-organic food it's crazy I eat organic veggies and it's opposite in terms of how I feel like uh, feel like I need to smoke this cigarettes is very speedy very speedy oh yeah by the way gang here's my snacks I got more of the the roasted this one is roasted sesame seeds on this side with chocolate not roasted but pan heated i guess let's see if i'll focus really close up is it gonna do it is it gonna do it i don't think so i don't think so is it doing it is it doing it is it doing it it doesn't want to do it it did it a little bit it did a little oh there was there was there was there was there wasn't super delicious yeah. this is what i made yesterday for 420 organic pumpkin seeds heat it slowly in a cast iron with oil and salt and then organic uh, dark chocolate chips for baking heat up the sesame seeds and this one sesame seeds sesame seeds in the pan add salt when it's ready take a plate put a layer of the sesame seeds or the pumpkin seeds pour chocolate chips on them organic dark and then put another layer of sesame seeds or pumpkin seeds and you get stuff like this you get this delicious goodness All right no i won't do it it's too not bright enough too bright in the back and super delicious yeah a lot of energy tastes great and i made it. it makes me happy eating food that i made i know exactly what's in it no preservatives spectra shot i've started consuming only air and water and my weight loss has been incredible <laughs> unfortunately you only stay awake for you know 30 minutes a day because you got no energy i always have the need of chocolate near me in the house yeah I'm, yeah i like having chocolate and nuts and um, seeds around grow for dark chocolate cocoa powder mixed with maca root gives you long lasting energy very nice like herb chocolate dark chocolate dark chocolate yeah yeah no not herb dark chocolate just dark chocolate when i order out i always worry someone with mess with my food yeah brando hits i never i had i have worked in restaurants I've, I've done deliveries at pizza deliveries and for restaurants as well i've done some prep cooking when i was younger for restaurant i never send food back gang just a suggestion if you go to a restaurant and whatever you order is not to your liking you can complain about it you can say hey it's not to my liking maybe they'll take off a little bit off your bill but don't send it back i wouldn't send it back i don't send food back even if it's the wrong order well wrong order maybe it's because someone else might have got my order so that might be a confusion 
so I prefer to make my own food I want put a <laughs> Rando Chicho have you seen the film waiting mm, I don't know I don't think so I can guess what it's about though Mordock too I mean if you order chicken breast and it's uncooked yeah if it's uncooked for sure for sure but if, if it's not to your liking oh I ordered the steak it's not raw enough or medium enough or well done enough um you know the pasta is not good or what if it's not cooked yeah for sure i mean if you if you got pink in the middle of the chicken you're cutting you want to send it back right <laughs> brando it says i will bite the bullet and eat the food <laughs> maybe scrape off the top there that's cooked and leave the rest and say look man the inside is not cooked blue storm any thoughts on dry herb vaporization uh, especially in health effects versus smoking weed yeah i i only vaporize blue storm uh, if you're here doing a 420 stream yesterday uh, i don't smoke anymore i haven't smoked for a number of years now just vaporize just vaporize bud that's it no mixtures no chemicals no shatter no no oil none of that jazz nothing that's processed just bud yeah. you can eat three kilograms of potatoes a day oh my god brando hus there is a scene gross comedic of what happens when you send food back it stars ryan reynolds uh -huh. spectral shot how are you doing i ordered a steak medium rare and it was well done I sent it back and they then they brought up one that was completely wrong. I didn't order a steak from that place again. <laughs> that cracks me up. <laughs> Knowing I've been around the service industry for a long time. I had lots of friends in it. I did a little bit of pizza drive when I was younger and being in bars and restaurants you hang around after hours and stuff like this. Um it cracks me up <laughs> the guy didn't thought it was thought it was too well done not right up yeah damn, here's eat this <laughs> too funny it's like walking up to the dj and saying requesting a song <laughs> in the middle of a set <laughs> hey man can you play this what the <laughs> Oh god blue steak is the only way to eat it is that what you call it blue steak raw funny funny gang i mentioned yesterday that i might have to cut this short like uh hour and 45 minutes and we're coming on to like 12 45 so blue steak is just seared on the outside ah okay any advice for uh choosing a vaporizer blue storm i go with a riser and I'm not getting a kickback from this or anything. Uh, Riser, Doop. this company is a Canadian company. They have a 50% sale or 40% sale. They started that sale a year ago. Okay, when this whole lockdown thing came into effect, I have, I had one. Okay, I had the solo, right? That I bought years ago, and they had the sale, so I bought the solo too. Okay my partner has the little version of the solo i bought the solar to the digital one and then i bought another solo one because i like the analog one because i'm pretty sure they're not going to make the solo one anymore so i have that stored in a box that i haven't even opened yet because it is the best vaporizer i've ever tried okay and i want to make sure that no matter what happens I will have a vaporizer to use for a number of years to go that I love just in case I don't like future generation versions of them okay and can confirm it is the only way to do it. yeah and searing the steak I, basically you want to uh, cook the part that has touched oxygen right so the whole concept of searing steak correct me correct me on this um, if if uh, if I'm mistaken, Elder God and other people that are chefs, but basically you want to sear it so the part that has been exposed to oxygen is cooked because that's the part that can go bad, right? And then the middle can be basically raw, right? But take with a grain of salt. I'm not a chef and I don't own a restaurant. 
I like your physics videos. Uh, Colombo, thank you. Do you still make them or teach uh, classical mechanics stuff? I, we, we have drop in math tutoring sessions. Uh, we're going to have one uh, Saturday or Sunday, I believe. Two hour drop in math tutoring session. And we've done some physics. And mainly we do a lot of mathematics. And my background is geophysics. So I love physics, of course. Right. But physics is just really applied mathematics. So once you understand the units in whatever system you're analyzing and you know math, then you can do your physics, right? And the, and the system, the models, the assumptions and whatnot. Brown the host, I once played on loop Pink Floyd track, several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pick at a bar and people were pissed, but I kept my anonymity. <laughs> One red neck guys was like, this this isn't why I <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, you're right, Chicho. Regarding the steak, okay. It has to one piece of meat and not and yeah, and not chicken. Chicken needs to be cooked. Do not eat raw chicken. <laughs> if your bar has a uh, diagonal jute box, play dope smokers by sleep. It's it's an hour and 15 minutes on really uh, or play um uh, oh godspeed your emperor find godspeed you emperor one of their tracks and play that they're they're more like 12 to 15 minute tracks but they're phenomenal put it on a loop i wonder why old boxers used to eat raw eggs um, in their shakes or beer i think people still do uh, and it's fantastic uh, protein and good fat godspeed you black emperor yeah fantastic fantastic gang let's call the stream how do you not get sick well you don't you won't get sick we used to eat raw eggs when we were kids we break them into our rice we put egg yolk in the rice and mix it up and eat it delicious i don't do it anymore black light 20 chicho i have four math exams coming up part of my 19 exam a uh, crown that the sqa my country's qualification association are trying to do for evidence for a final grade damn thanks chicho my pleasure Brando hits gang thank you for being here nice discussion um i'm not sure who requested it but whoever it was i hope you were here to uh participate i am on patreon if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so for those of you that are supporting this work gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this okay uh storm uh blue storm one more question about vaporizers what's your temperature setting i set set up the digital one at 170 fahrenheit i feel i've been overshooting an amount yeah on the digital on the solo it has a scale of seven i put it on three i'm low i don't go high heat low heat low very low okay i also got a nasty math exam on the 28 from multivariance I... my pleasure gang gang we are live streaming on twitch right here that's where the chat is and if you want to participate twitch is where you want to be at okay those of you who've been supporting this work on twitch for the follows for the likes for subscribing for coming to these live streams participating in the discussion and mods for taking care of business thank you very much for the support gang it is again in large part because of your support that we're able to do this i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gab and parlor you can follow the work there and you can come to our discord or come to our twitch channel anytime you want in the chat type an exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up those links and at the bottom you'll see our discord server that there's a few hundred people there sharing information and participating in discussion you're definitely welcome to join us there as well the audio for this live stream will be uploaded to soundcloud.com backslash chicho chy cho as a podcast and it should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and even though we talked about certain things that are not allowed on sensor tube i think this discussion is important to share as widely as possible so we will load it up onto sensor tube bit shoot rumble and odyssey get everything that we put out okay and for those of you who are supporting this work on those platforms gang thank you very much for the support i hope 
I hope you're enjoying the content and it is in large part because of the collective support that we're getting from all these platforms and outside that we're able to do this. John Zuck, thanks for the discussion today, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Chicho and Chad, indeed. Elder God, Thursday, April 22nd from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Let's take a look at the world and try to understand the games at play. Open discussion, come with questions. We'll try our best to figure out what's going on and how we can we can prepare for the changes taking place. And that is tomorrow morning from 8 a.m. PDT Pacific Coast, West Coast, Canada. My time, two hours. We're doing a current events uh, live stream. And then we got math and comic books and stuff coming up gang i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning in 22 hours no less than that 20 hours if you can make it bye everyone i believe so yeah elder god i have to do it in the morning i can't do it at night i'm pretty sure we're doing it uh tomorrow morning okay uh if not if i've set it up as that it's going to be that okay and thanks for posting it. I actually, before you posted it, I thought it was <laughs> evening as well. I usually have to check my own schedule to see when I'm doing it. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it. Bye, everyone.